I am a zebra. My name is Charlotte and I'm from Teesside in the northeast of England. My zebra condition is Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease, also known as HD, is a rare neurodegenerative genetic brain disease caused by a faulty gene. Its symptoms fall into three categories, movement, mind and mood. Symptoms usually start between the ages of 30 and 50, but it can also impact children, which is called juvenile HD. I'm not yet symptomatic, but symptoms can start at any time. And once they do, my nervous system will slowly shut down, causing things like involuntary movements, the loss of speech, swallowing, walking, talking and cognitive functioning. I inherited the disease from my mum, who was in the middle stages of the condition. Due to its genetic nature, to be diagnosed with HD in the UK, you have to go through a full genetic testing process. I knew my mum wasn't well with the condition, meaning my sister and I carried a 50-50 risk of inheriting it. Unless you are symptomatic as a child, you have to wait until you're 18 to be tested for HD in the UK by what's called a pred predictive genetic test. When I was 18, I was sure I wanted to find out, so I asked for a, for a referral from my local doctor to the genetic specialist. Through the mandatory genetic counselling, I realised it wasn't the right time for me in my life to find out if I was a gene carrier. I waited seven years meeting with my genetic counsellor every year until I was ready. And I was diagnosed March 2023, just two months ago. However, my great grandma had the gene and was never diagnosed while she was alive. She was misdiagnosed with Parkinson's and severe dementia. And we only found out that she carried the gene from a postmortem when she passed away. This is a common reality for those who live with HD and it often takes a long time for them to people to receive a diagnosis if they have no family history. Irish people knew that HD can often be portrayed as somebody being drunk or under the influ influence of alcohol due to the impaired gait, the slurred speech, the aggression and the lack of cognitive functioning. Things aren't always as they seem and it's important to consider other factors that might impact an individual's presentation in public. I think it's really important to take that into consideration if you ever see somebody who might not be the image of disability that you have in your head because disability comes in all shapes and sizes. There are so many things I could say about why this campaign means so much to me, but in the rare disease community, we don't often get the exposure that we need. Even since my own diagnosis just two months ago, I've encountered medical professionals with a huge gap in knowledge, understanding and compassion for the disease that I have and what I need as a patient. This campaign will only improve that and will show people zebras are important and deserve the same level of care as those with more, more common conditions. We shouldn't have to fight constantly for what we, we need as those impacted by diseases like HD. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org zebra.